Oh shit. Let us know if you can hear us and see us. You see it come through on the chat. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Uh, we were able to get the video working that we tried to show you guys last week. Um, that kind of showed the process of setting up uh, the contraption that we have going on in the basement. So, happy that you guys got to see that. Just briefly for like a second. Or buffer. Will is saying that the video might buffer for a second so we're gonna hang tight here for a minute and let that kind of run its course. Alright, I think we're good. Okay, we should be good. Um, we do have an itinerary today. It's a little bit shorter than normal. Not a whole lot to report on our end. Um, and in addition to that, we're going to try to keep it down to about an hour today. I do have a couple of things on my to-do list that I need to take care of. Um, so, unfortunately, probably going to limit it to about an hour today. So, we'll probably dip out around 2 o'clock. Um, last week went pretty long, so I feel okay about doing that this week. Um, we are, this is the second week in a row. If you didn't get to see us last week live, um, we are in the new YouTube studio is what we're calling it. Um, it is obviously still a work in progress. If you were here with us last week, uh, Will kind of showed you what we had going on behind the scenes and that is now all like nice and neatened up. Um, the parts that we were waiting for from Amazon did come. Um, so that's all looking good on that end. We do plan on painting, um, which you guys can't see, but there is a wall to my right. Um, we do plan on painting that wall and then the wall behind us just to kind of add some color to the space down here. Um, and honestly, I feel like that's really all we have kind of left to do down here. So it is still a little bit of a work in progress, but um, definitely sufficient for what we're doing. So, so far so good. I'm sure we might add things along the way when we think of them. Like I feel like we're just making it up as we go. Yeah, we really are just making it up as we go. Um, the boys are here today. They have not been to the park yet today. Um, Will, as you know, if you've been watching the daily vlogs, um, Will's been struggling with allergies this week. And when he took the pups out this morning, he noticed that it kind of was coming back a little bit. So uh, we wanted to make sure that we got the live stream out of the way first. Um, and then he's going to go ahead and take them to get their exercise for the day. That way, if he does go into allergy meltdown mode, at least the live stream will be over um, because if he did that this morning and he went into allergy meltdown mode, we would have to cancel the live. We didn't really want to do that. We want to um, spend some time with you guys um, if we can. So they have not um, had any exercise yet today. So they're fairly calm. That's because we've been down here watching the um, car. Yeah, but like if you could hear Will, they were, the boys were down here earlier washing the car before we started this. So they have kind of been, you know, up and moving around, um, you know, in the basement, but definitely does not compare to them getting like real exercise outside. So it should be interesting. We'll see if they remain calm. They're pretty relaxed right now. Lotus doesn't really require as much exercise as Enzo. Enzo is usually the one that I worry about a little bit more. Um, couple of housekeeping items. The lights behind us. If you send a super chat, they will blink. But if you send a super sticker, sticker yeah. stickers do not make the lights blink. So just keep that in mind. We don't care whatever you send is perfectly fine. Um, but just for if you are wanting the lights to blink, know that it has to be a super chat, not a super sticker. Um, Riley and Nick, I believe, are both here today. Sometimes it's like one or the other. Or I know one. Nick's here. Yeah, Nick is here for sure. He's under the name Gordo. Um, if Riley is in the in the chat, you'll see him as well. His is actually just under Riley. Um, they, yep, there he is. Okay, it's perfect. Just saw it come through. <laughs> um, they work through all the chat. They answer lots and lots of questions in there. Um, if you pop a question into the chat and they answer it, it will, it is as 
good as our answer would be, um, we're all on the same page when it comes to that. They've been following our story for a really long time. Um, they're in here every single week with us. We are super, super grateful for them being in here with us. Um, they are amazing. So any kind of answer or response that you get from them would be the answer that we would give you. We're all on the same page. Um, so they're in there for that. If anything weird pops into the chat, they take care of it as quick as they see it. Um, so they're amazing. They're in here with us today. Um, so just keep an eye out for them in the chat. Um, anyone new? So like, I feel like the last time we met, did we have 16,000? No, we just yeah. hit 16. So okay, we just recently hit 16,000 subscribers and I feel like that number is like growing more rapidly than it has been do you feel the same way or no um it goes up and down but last couple days it's yeah i feel like we've had like kind of a, a jump in subscribers recently i don't know if that's just because people are at home they don't really have a whole lot to do i don't know if that's just because the channel thank you cam um for subscribing um, I don't know if the channel is just like picking up a faster pace or what the deal is. So if you are new, throw that in the chat. We want to give you a shout out. Say hi. Let us know where you're from um, just so we can kind of get to know you. We A lot of our subscribers, I feel like we have like they've almost become like family. Um, we have like a personal relationship with a lot of them. So throw it in there if you're new. Let us know where you're from. Oh, thank you. Somebody just super chat. It looks like Sarah. Thank you, Sarah. Um, and the lights worked. I know. Wow. On the first time. Sometimes things work. Sometimes things just fall in place. Um, so yeah, we want to, um, do you have my other document pulled up so that I can like see what you and Riley are putting in there? Uh, no. So I'm we still do, working on stuff. we, we're running late today, so we are still kind of like getting everything up and running. Um, but thank you, Alexandria for subscribing. We do have like a secondary document and I don't even think we explained this to you guys last week. I don't know, maybe we did. Um, but we have a secondary document that I can have pulled up and Will can have pulled up and Riley and Nick have access to. So like if there's like a question that they don't feel comfortable with answering or maybe they don't know the answer, um, they can throw it into this document and it's like immediate to me. So then I can kind of pick up on the notes what they've put in there. So. Um, that's what I was asking Will about, if that was up and running yet or not. Um, uh, no. No. I didn't make a new document, so Riley uh, just used the same one as last week. <laughs> yeah. And Nick. We're, we're behind today. It just is what it is. Um, what else, babe? Any kind of, like, just, like, general housekeeping before we get into itinerary? Anything you want to... Um, somebody said you should write it backwards so they can read it. Oh, wow. I didn't even think about that. Thank you for subscribing. We love the subscribers. Um, I feel like that would be really hard to do. And honestly, when I drew that on there, my intentions were not for you guys to see it. I really didn't even think the camera would be up that high to see that. So um, I might have to like work on my artistic skills and, <laughs> and scoot it over a little bit because I can see that the light is blocking part of it and down some and then backwards. Oh, you know what it is? Somebody just said, too, our shirts are backwards. I know. Um, but is it because our camera is upside yeah, down? So our camera is flipped the way that we have it on this um, contraption hanging from the ceiling. Oh, super chat. Wow, we got another super chat. Man, you guys are super chatting it up today. Thank you. Are you going to flip it for him? There it goes. That's why. So <laughs> I was like, wait, why should things have to be backwards? That didn't make any sense. It's because we're backwards. <sighs> Yeah, so the camera, the way that it's hanging is upside down. So when he flipped it, you flipped it, but like you didn't, I didn't invert it correctly. Yeah. yeah, so it should be good now. I know, I was kind of wondering, I'm like, how is that possible? But it was kind of in the back of my head that the, the camera was flipped. Sorry. Anything else you want to get into before we start talking about what's been going on in our lives? Um... No, not necessarily. Anything crazy? Mm -hmm. Did we see any new people in the chat? Um, I don't know. I haven't looked. Okay. Sorry. I'm going to get in. Gonna show them what the oh, yes. What are you showing them? Oh, yes. So it. It's kind of dark, though. Oh. Like, they really can't see it all. He's going to turn on the aperture light, and maybe that'll help a little bit. No, definitely did not help at all. 
not even remotely. They can't see any of it. Thank you for subscribing. Yeah, it's just really dark for some reason. Oh, now it got really dark. It's a little better. No. 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 I would just stop while you're ahead. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why this one's so dark. And I'm wondering if they can really even see the pups. I can see Lotus. He's kind of dark though still. Yeah. Thank you, Christine, it looks like. Thank you, Christine. All right, well, while Will is, what, what did you figure out? The oh, the off. filter is on it. No yeah. wonder. Here, let me see that so they can see. So depending on where the camera goes, it gets like filters. Wow. Why is it so dark? And like, I feel like that happens all the time too. We're like, what is wrong with the camera? And then like five minutes later, it's like, oh, the filter's on there. Yeah. So now you guys can see what it looks like. Um, but we really, there's nothing beyond that. So if you got to see it last week, it was kind of like we had all kinds of tripods and it was a hot mess. But yeah, so now it's all just kind of hanging there from the ceiling. I'm really shocked that we were able to do that on our own, but yeah. it worked out. It's really nice. And it, like, I feel like has cut the time of setting up and breaking down, like, and like, he is not exaggerating when he says a lot. Like, I feel like set up and breakdown before Four was hours. like three hours. Yeah. Um, and now it's literally like, put the camera up, put some cords into the laptop and done. Like maybe 15 minutes, maybe. Yeah. So. Just kind of playing with it or like little silly things like this. Yeah, yep. So it's pretty awesome. Um, all right, I'm going to go ahead and get into itinerary. I am not keeping up with anything in the chat yet. Um, we'll kind of get to questions and answers Q&A at the end if uh, Riley and Nick haven't already addressed those things. Um, we'll kind of talk a little bit at the end if you have questions. Um, so news and updates. We are still under quarantine, obviously, and in our state, it has currently been extended to May 1st. I don't know if you guys want to pop in the chat, like if your guys' has also been extended as well. I believe Ohio also went to May 1st, um, but we are currently still under the mandatory um, quarantine until... You mean you believe Kentucky also went to May 1st? Ohio went to May 1st. Oh, Ohio went to May 1st. Yeah, I think Kentucky did as well. Um, so it's kind of a bummer, but I mean, it is what it is. We have to stay safe. Um, I'm pretty much, and you can't see our notes on here. Will wrote the itinerary and he put in here as a little side note underneath of that, that I'm going crazy and I feel like I actually am. Um, I have not left the house since uh, Monday. So yeah, I think it was Monday cause you had allergy meltdown and I took the dogs to my mom's house, um, to just like play around in the backyard for about an hour. And then like I had some prescriptions to pick up for Enzo and for myself. Um, and I just feel like, and I'm sure all of you can relate. Um, if you're, you know, if you're following, you're abiding by the rules, but, um, I don't know. I just feel like I have anxiety about going out because I don't want to get sick and I feel like I would be fine if I got sick and that's great. But you know, what if Will gets sick and then he's around somebody that gets sick from him. And so you don't want to get other people sick. So I have like huge anxiety about going out. So I stay in, but when I stay in, like I feel equally as anxious um, and just like not mentally like well at all. Um, so, and I, I'm sure that most of you can relate to that. You know, it's like you're stuck between a rock and a hard place. You don't want to go out and do anything, but you also don't want to be in the house for five million days in a row. So I'm really starting to feel the effects of that. I think more so than Will, because Will, the way that he I'm has- always at home. Yeah, he's always, like, since he's been working from home, if and you I, weren't working from home, I wouldn't know. Yeah, stuff like was he going wouldn't know days. what was going on out in the world. But like he's used to just talking to a camera all day and like not really having social interaction. You know, he has the pups, obviously, but as far as like his normal daily schedule, like Lotus talks a lot. Nothing has really changed for him. 
Would you agree? I mean, not besides really. the fact that I'm home, nothing in your The only thing daily... that's really changed is I went to Lowe's and I didn't take them in with me. That was pretty much it. So, like, he's not really affected by it because that's his normal life and he's had however many years you've been working from home now two three four i don't even know how long it's like it's, two or three yeah two or three years now so like he's already had that adjustment period and he's used to even though he's talking to thousands of you um we got another oh, super sherry. chat thank you sherry i'll get to your question in a second <laughs> um nothing has really changed for him but for me i've never worked from home um i've always been around people you know even though I feel like I'm an introvert like I still like to be social in a way like not necessarily like go to a party and talk to people but like I'd like to be able to like see people like even if that's passing people in Target and just smiling you know what I mean it's called stalking I don't <laughs> I don't know them but like I just like to just be around people even if I'm not communicating with them if that makes sense and I've been working ho from home now about three weeks. Yeah. I, think. I guess we're going on three-ish weeks, maybe four. Um, and, like, it's really now that, like, we're really not leaving the house, it's starting to hit me hard. So it's been a rough adjustment for me. But, like, for him, nothing's really changed. And I, I know he gets it because, like, you know, when I talk about it, he's I like, yeah. I have to yeah. on the couch a lot. Yeah, so I've, I've taken over his office. If you guys didn't already know that, I straight up just, like, took it over. And so he's been working down here in the basement, which is killing his back. Um, so that's like a whole nother thing um, to kind of be dealing with. Um, but so yeah, pretty much I am going insane at this point in time. Um, I think the fact that like I get to talk to so many of you every day because I do answer every single comment and message that comes in. And your guys' comments are like so positive and just like uplifting and I, f I really feel like that helps me sometimes like as much as our videos you guys are like your video gets me through the day like your daily vlog gets me through the day like your guys positive comments that I get from like that feedback that I get that's what gets me through the day so as much as I feel like we're helping you like you guys are helping us an equal amount well I mean me for sure you're yeah, you're fine he's comments. fine he's perfectly fine um, but like for okay. me <laughs> For me, it you guys really do help me get through the day. So I appreciate you guys so much. And just, like, keep the comments coming in. Like, I will never get tired of answering the comments. And some of them are just, like, so sweet. Um, so I love it. That gets me through. You guys are amazing. But I am starting to go insane. Um, yes. Well, Sherry's question with the super chat. Was she asking if you have a real job? I think she was asking what my real job is. I mean... Technically, I guess it's e-commerce and marketing. If I had to give it a title. Yeah. Um, honestly, I spend most of my time doing YouTube these days. I spend more time doing that. Initially, um, though, like, that is how your work from home job started. Yeah. So, like, Yeah, that got me working from home, but that, it doesn't require, here. like, it's not a 40-hour job. It's a, it's a five-hour-a-week job or yeah. something. Like, it doesn't require a whole lot of time. In the beginning, it did. Yeah. In the beginning, it did, but now that it is what it is, it does not require a yeah, lot. Yeah, a lot of it's setting up and automating stuff. Um, and I know that sounds very vague. Um, it's just, it is vague, kind of, like it really just is. Well, um, yeah. You don't let us talk about it a whole lot. So. Well, there's just not really a whole lot to talk about. Yeah. And everything. Um, but I feel like know, we get so many people that ask us that, yeah. and we're like, we ne like, I never know what to say. I'm like, uh he's an entrepreneur and just like pray well, that that answer was I mean, good enough for them like if something was to happen to me like you have oh, no idea how I, money comes in or no anything. i like and w i feel like we've had that like yeah. an actual serious discussion to where like he probably needs to start writing stuff down and keeping it in like i would not know how to run anything yeah. like the money would stop coming in if something happened to him, which is very scary for me because my job would not support what we have going on. So, um, but yeah, I mean, honestly, I spend most of my time just doing YouTube now. Yeah. Which um, is awesome because I feel like that's something that like actually brings you joy. Yeah. Like you actually like doing that. Yeah. So yeah, it's amazing. We're super grateful that he gets to work from home. It's, it's awesome. 
maybe one day we'll get to the point where I can also be here with them. That would be like you ideal. Are. <laughs> well, now I am, but I still have to work my normal job. Uh, the other super chat said something about, is this an April Fool's joke? I don't know what that was in reference to. We don't know. So, um, if you want to clarify though, you can. And then a lot of people have been commenting that they've been extended to yeah. Europe, Canada, um, lots of other places. Yeah. I'm thinking like, like I'm hopeful that it'll be over soon. Um, but like I'm a realist and I'm thinking like it's going to be end of summer, beginning of fall before this whole thing is like where we can get back to some sort of normal life, unfortunately. Yeah, Enzo keeps moving on us. So that's that. The other thing that I did want to talk about with you guys is I talked like a few, I feel like it was like three weeks ago at this point, maybe longer. We were definitely still um, doing the live streams upstairs. Um, my schedule is going to change. Thank you, SP. SP, you do not need to be sending super chats through. SP is going to go crazy if she can't go back to court. She really is going to be, she is going to go insane. But if she wants to know if there is an update on the pup's email address. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, after I killed the website, uh, honestly, I didn't do a lot. I mean, I did a lot of work this week, but it was all stuff that didn't require me to think. So it was all just video editing. Um, that's why all the videos were older videos. Um, because when I have allergies, I can't work for very long at a time. Yeah. Like sometimes it's five or 10 minutes, sometimes it's 30 minutes. So it's basically just me editing video because I can literally start, stop over and over again. I always know what I'm doing with that. I don't have to think about it. Um, so anything that, any type of work that required thought, I didn't really do until so you'll like get to Thursday. It this week, probably. Yeah. SP, he'll work on it this week. Um, but yeah, any type of work that required me to think. I'll much. try to remember to remind him. Um, I'll put that like on my to-do list to remind him a couple of times. Um, but speaking of that though, um, the reason she wants that is because, um, so she doesn't have to mail stuff. We could do like a section on the Amazon store that's like, because somebody else asked about that updating the Amazon store. It could be like a wish list section or something. Oh yeah, that's a good idea, babe. And then that kind of, then if people, I mean, you don't have to do anything, but we keep getting that question. <laughs> Thanks, Sherry. Yeah. So maybe we can work on that as well. Okay. I guess Sherry liked the answer. Yeah, I guess, I guess you liked that answer, Sherry. Thank you. <laughs> um, back to what I was talking about. Um, a few weeks ago, I let you guys know that. Um, YouTube, um, YouTube is getting some issues right now. So they just popped up and told me that it might be a little shaky for a few minutes. Okay. Yeah, so, we just got a, a message on our end. Yeah. So if it buffers or something, um, I'm sorry. If it does, let us know, though, just so we can be mindful of that. Um, yeah. But we do have, like, a, a yellow banner going across the screen right now that tells us that yeah. it's, it's having, it's struggling. But it's not on our end. It's literally YouTube. Um, my schedule is going to change drastically here probably within the next two weeks. Um, so I will, once that schedule starts, um, I will be working 5 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So that obviously conflicts with when we do our live stream. Will and I are going to kind of brainstorm along with Riley and Nick at some point in time over the next couple weeks to kind of come up with um, a, a new day possibly. Um, and a new time that we'll be able to get together and do the live streams. I do really want to keep them on a weekend day because when we do get back to normal schedules, I think that that's the most convenient time for people to kind of join I in. I think right now people are convenient anytime. Yeah, right now <laughs> I don't think it matters like a ton. Do you like Tuesday um, at 2? <laughs> I don't really want to do it during the week if we don't have to. Um, but I do have to keep in mind that, you know, the later that we do them on a Saturday or Sunday, um, that does affect Nick and Riley because they are, I think, currently four hours uh, ahead of us, basically. Yeah, like four or six, I can't remember off the top of my head. Yeah. So I know they had like the weird time change situation, so I don't know if it's moved over yet or not, but four or five hours ahead of us. So 
it would be kind of late for them if we did it after I got off work so I don't have like a, a straightforward answer for that yet but we are definitely going to work on coming up with a new day and time um, and we'll uh, we'll keep you guys informed we'll let you know what we decide on um, that way you can kind of prepare um, going we ahead might do like a I'll probably put like a like a, I was thinking like we could a questionnaire or yeah. like a voting thing yeah oh hi pup pup did you hear something did you hear anything? Mm-mm. But he probably heard a squirrel or something. Yeah, because he's, he's going to his spot over there in the corner. What you doing back there? Do you want to get up here? Well, come here. You want to get up here? Come here, Lotus. Say I'm in meltdown mode. Um, allergies. We kind of already talked about yeah, that. Yeah, we kind of talked yeah. about that. Uh, we talked about the studio. Oh, vlogs. Do you want to yeah, hit on I that? Yeah, I mean, I kind of already did, but, um, you know, most of you guys know we're doing the oh, super chat from somebody who has silly stuff to say that we don't need to repeat. We're not going to deal with that language, Jeff. Um, <laughs> so, Jeff? yeah. <laughs> um, so as many of you know, we're doing like kind of like a daily vlog. What's different between this and like the January daily vlogs is like January was like a commitment where this is just me doing my best. Um, it's been actually much nicer that way because then it's not as much stressful on me. Um, and then like when we need a day or something like yesterday um, and then Sundays we don't do them obviously. Um, so yeah, that's been a little bit nicer, but I am still planning, you know, to do mostly daily vlogs through the, throughout the week. The you can't get up the couch backwards, goofball. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh-oh. Big boy's coming. <gasps> so what are you doing, bud? You get up here too? Really? <laughs> I don't really think that you need help getting up, but I will just be nice anyway. I know, you could like walk up there. Wow. Um, that is my spot. Thank you, sir. Enzo Sanders, you're off the cover. <sighs> Buddy, what are you doing? You guys, you are so far out of bounds right now. Wow. He must have really wanted up here because he's not usually very pushy. Um, he can be quite pushy. I mean, when he gets that way, he can be, but not normal. He's not normally like that. <sighs> so yeah, we're gonna keep doing daily videos, but you may see a day here and there where it just doesn't happen. It's nothing personal. We try our best. You guys are usually really understanding though. Um, I think that's it, babe, for news and updates. Catch them up on what's going on. Yeah. Um, you can, I don't know if you want to skim through the comments and stuff. Yeah, do you, I don't think I have that document, but I can steal your computer. Is that what they're on? Yeah. Oh. Okay. We are at some point in time going to get back to doing like a specific topic when we do these. We did that once, which I really liked, and I think other people enjoyed that, but then, like, everything crazy happened in the world. Like, it really started to go downhill after that. And so we just really kind of want to use this time to just, like, hang out with you guys, um, if that makes sense, and just, like, be very casual. Um, that way, like, you guys can talk to us, we can talk to you. It's just, I don't know, seems like with things going on, that just, that seems the way to go. Um, so, but we will eventually get back to doing topics um, once the world gets back together oh, again. and somebody asked how you do Super Chat. Um, you just have to be signed in. Yeah, I wouldn't even know how to do a Super Chat. If you're signed in, it should just be on the chat option if you want it. You don't have to do it, but if you want to do it, that's how you do it. Okay. So these are updated like Riley's in here? Yeah, Riley's. Okay. Yeah, he wrote, I'm in. Okay. Um, Izzy the Cheetah, which... I'm pretty sure I gave a shout out to earlier. I don't know if it's girl or boy, but they asked me to give a shout out, so same person there. Um, are y'all doing the freeze dried dog food or are you keeping the Gentle Giants dog food? We are currently keeping the Gentle Giants dog food. Um, we tried the freeze dried raw 
food mixed in with their regular Gentle Giants food. And, wow, he is really something. Um, Which one? This one. Oh. And it really messed with Enzo's stomach for some reason. Like, I don't feel like Lotus really was affected too much. It wasn't as bad with Lotus, but yeah, Enzo, he loved it. Uh, he did love it. But he just got, like, gassy, basically. Yeah, yeah. Like, like uh, excessively, though. Like, not something you really can deal with. Even though we did it, like, a, as a gradual thing. So, Izzy, we are not currently still doing that. We took them off that um, as soon as that stuff started to kind of take effect. Um, and update on Enzo's situation that we talked to you guys about last week. He is finished completely with antibiotics. We are still giving him a probiotic. Um, just to kind of um, get everything back to normal in his belly. Um, but other than that, he's been doing really, really well. Yeah. Um, somebody asked what your job was. You he, were a teacher. I was a teacher for six years. Um, I'm not... So I'm a personal investor, but I'm not going to tell you what company I work for just because I feel like there could be some conflict there. And I work in a very highly regulated industry. Um so that's what I do now, which is completely different uh, than what I used to do. Like you think, wow, how did you go from teaching to the financial world? I have no idea. Because um, <laughs> teaching is, I would, if you offered me a teaching job, if somebody walked in the door right now and said, we'll give you 200,000 a year to teach, I wouldn't take it. It's Just not worth it, you guys. seeing what she dealt with. Like I wouldn't do it. You know, the thing I think about it is because there what are you doing? You're not going to come up here, big boy. Um, the, the, is that a better spot? People who are teachers that give a hundred percent, like have that type of personality, they give 110% all the time. They burn out so quickly because it's impossible to give that much and like still maintain your own mental health and anxiety and sanity. Um, so for me, like my personality, that is who I am. Type A personality, like 110% in everything that I do all the time, even if I don't like it. Um, and so, yeah, after six years, I mean, I really, yeah. I tried, I did, and I love it. I still like, I'm hoping that where I work now, I can eventually get into like a, a teaching position there because there they do have employees there that teach certain classes. Um, and then that way I don't feel like, you know, I've wasted my degree and I can still be teaching and doing something that I love. Um, but I don't think that, you know, seeing what it's like now to be out of that profession, I don't think that I will ever go back to public school teaching. I don't think that I could ever do that to myself. So it's tough. And I'm sure that we probably have teacher subscribers at some point in time, but I commend you for everything that you do. I don't know how you have kept up with it because it's, it's a tough profession. Now they're all on paid bait break. Yeah, I'm like, man, picked a really bad year to not be teaching. Like I could just be at home right now, you know, vegging out, no big deal, getting paid for it, but yeah. it's not worth it. Um. What else? Let's see. Jason, the barber, says, do you guys give the pups raw eggs or cooked eggs? We do not. I've heard of other people doing that. I haven't really researched a whole lot on that and what the benefits are to that or if there are even benefits to that. I know, like, in the raw diets that I've researched, I know that they do, like, some raw eggs in that. Um, but we do not do that with our pups. No. We've, uh, except for peanut butter. Yeah. We do get, that's the only human type of food they get is peanut butter and they don't get it very often. Yeah. What um, does this mean here? Is right? Oh, oh. I didn't see the is. Oh, I yeah, just sometimes saw, a space. Yeah, so CJ James says, is Riley your best friend? <laughs> um, we actually did not know Riley until we met him through. We still haven't technically met him. Well, not in person, yeah. but like we did not even know him until um, we met him through the channel. So it always kind of, like it's always such a surreal thing to me. And like we watch other YouTubers that have become like best friends with, you know, people kind of in this same situation. And 
they do really become like your family. Like you build these relationships with them and it becomes very personal, like a very personal relationship. Um, so it's so funny, like we have, you know, our normal family and then like we have our secondary like YouTube family. So I always yeah. think that that's really cool um, to kind of have that extra group. And um, I know this week uh, we had a subscriber who is um, a patron. So she is a part of our um, private Facebook group that we have. And I don't know, there's like 16 or 18 mm. of us in there now. 16. Um, and her pup got like so, so sick, like so sick. And then, you know, she was telling us about it. And at the end of it, cause it was like a two or three day ordeal. Like she was just so thankful to like have that secondary family, like that private Facebook group, because we were all just very positive, very supportive. And I don't know, it's just like amazing to kind of have like that secondary family to go to um, that and that can relate, you know, because yeah. for her, she was like, you know, I obviously I have friends and family, but like they don't have a German Shepherd who's sick, you know, or they don't have a dog that has been sick like this before. So, you know, it's not really relatable, but she could come to us as like her secondary family and kind of vent and be emotional and everything else. And we were there to support her through that whole process. So. I don't know. I mean, yeah. it's always, it's, it's an amazing thing to kind of have you guys as a secondary family. It's, it's a pretty awesome thing. Yeah. I mean, it's once you get over the creepiness of like how much Riley and Nick know about our lives <laughs> and stuff. And uh, SP too at well, this SP, point. Yeah. Um, and Je <laughs> like there's a few of you, especially yeah, that, that know so much. But like, I mean, we do I the love same it. thing. Like you're, she never watched YouTube until like I introduced her. So never. I would say if, you had your own YouTube right now, you'd have one subscription and it would be Becky and Chris. Yeah. <laughs> but like you do the same thing. Yeah. You feel like you know them. You and get it's attached like, yeah. to those people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I would agree. They don't even have a dog. Yeah. I don't know why we watch them. I know, I don't either. <laughs> but yeah, so that was actually a good, a good point to bring up, CJ. Yeah, that was a good question. Um, Lisa Fay, which she is a major subscriber. Talk to her all the time. She's always commenting. I think she's watched like every single one of our videos. Um, she says, how many times a day do you give the pups, uh, the supplement? So their Dasequin, they get that twice a day or their Dasequin, they get once a day. That's in their breakfast meal. And then the fish oil, we give uh, breakfast and dinner. So one of them is once a day. The other one is twice a day. And those are linked in our Amazon store. Um, if you want to check those out. Rachel Young is new from Connecticut. I've been just going through trying to find yeah, new ones. Yeah, find new ones. Yeah, hi, Rachel. That was the first one I found. Okay. <laughs> um, Laura Schindler says, hi, Riley. What kind of... Hi, I guess you're just telling Riley hi. What kind of work does Nisha do? I already answered that one. Um, do y'all watch sports? We watch college football. We are huge Ohio State fans. Um, all the time when I open up like a message, sometimes an Instagram, like at the end of it, they'll be like, oh, by the way, O-H. And then like I always write back and say I-O. Um, so yeah, we, that's really the only sport that we like, like it's like we want and need to watch that. Like yeah. college football is our thing. Um, I love soccer and actually in Cincinnati, if you're familiar, they have the FC Cincinnati. FC Cincinnati team now so I would like to get more into going and watching it's some of those <laughs> yeah it's canceled now um some of those games I would yeah. love to kind of get into that because not everywhere has a soccer team where they yeah. can just go and do that so that's something really cool and then we love the Reds we don't watch them on TV but we attempt to go to games we did not make it to any last year I, don't well, I used like. to watch baseball a lot on TV and yeah. I just we got rid of cable probably about 10 years ago at this point and it's just yeah i yeah. just don't yeah. watch anything really we make sure that somehow we have a way to watch ohio state though when they're in season well because usually those come over the air so i just use an antenna yeah um but we still we've missed a couple games over the years because of stuff that just really if it's like if you didn't have cable you couldn't watch it and it's like oh well yeah but, um yeah i just don't watch a lot of tv we don't period. we don't watch like a lot of like and usually it's tv it's more of like a background type of thing yeah um yeah so but we like sports yeah um what shampoo is best for german shepherds i don't know what one is best i can tell you what we use um where are you going pup 
You got the high anxiety today, honey? Well, come here. Let me see. What are you doing? Lotus. He's shaking. Why is he shaking? <laughs> I didn't hear anything. I did not hear anything either. This is real life, you guys. Like, when he gets in these meltdown modes, like, this is what it's like. He's not... He wants to see how close he can... And there goes the iPad. <laughs> He's not... Cons... Should we add that to the tally of how much they cost? <laughs> He's not consolable at all. Yeah. And he'll try to do silly things. Like, you'll tell him to come here and he'll try to jump over the side of the couch. Yeah. I don't even know what I don't know why he's, uh... <laughs> All right. You need to go back, though. We're not going to do the talkbacks, though, okay? Come on. Yeah. There okay. You go. Yeah, that's much better. Wow. Look at my shirt. <laughs> and my pants, pup. He's always got to be in the camera. Wow. Center of attention all the time, huh? Wow. Okay. <sighs> um... <laughs> I don't even know. Oh, shampoo. I don't know what is best for them, but we have a couple that we really like that work really well. Yeah, they're in the Amazon store. Yeah, they're in the Amazon store. Is that link um, somewhere in something for it's them? It's in the video notes, like the actual video notes. Okay. Um, I can put it in the chat, too. The one that we, like, live by is this. It's, like, Tropical Neem Shampoo. Hi, yes, I know, I know. It's just not been good for you today. Yes, thank you, thank you. Can I talk to everyone or is that gonna be a problem? <laughs> um, it repels fleas and ticks, so we don't use it in the sense of like, oh, we wait for the pups to get fleas and ticks and then we use the shampoo. We use it more of like a proactive measure. So as Especially you- Especially in spring and fall, yeah. like spring through fall. If you've watched many of our videos, you know they get a wipe down like literally every time that they come in the house from being outside. Um, and so we just put a little bit of that in the bucket of water and that's what they get wiped down with probably two or three times a day, honestly. It's not like it's soaking wet or anything. Yeah. Even just, now, like, when they're not getting dirty, like, I'll still just put a damp and just kind of rub down their backs and stuff just in case they picked anything up. Yeah. So that's what I highly recommend. And if anyone ever asks me, like, that's the one that I tell people to get. We also have, like, a, a buddy wash shampoo that smells really good. It makes them feel really soft that we use now and we again. Don't, yeah, we, we don't, don't use really it as use much it. anymore. Yeah. Um, let's see, how do but I... But I think you were telling me, like, the neem isn't the greatest for puppies. Yeah, so I think there's, like, a warning on there that the, the pup should be above three months old, I believe. Okay. Yeah, so if you're looking for something for, like, a pup when you bring the pup home, I would recommend the Buddy Wash, which I believe is in the store, the Amazon store. Uh, I don't know that it is, but I'll put oh. it back in there. Okay. Wow, Lotus, you just, like, destroyed <laughs> my outfit today, dude. I feel like I'm going to need to go get the lint roller. Um, how do I ensure that my pup won't grab food off the table? We've never, like, indulged in, like, giving anything from, like, our plate or the counter. Like, if they get peanut butter, like, it's a vi like it doesn't come from off the counter. Like, it goes into whatever... Like Kong if, or if you choose to give them human food, that's your choice. Just I would never do it while you're eating. Yeah. Or at the table or anything like that because then they're just going to associate it with it. Yeah. So a good way to kind of like if they're already in that habit, a good way to kind of combat that or start to combat that is to maybe um, put them in their like if you have a crate to put them in their crate while you're eating. And kind of just establish that boundary, like, hey, when we're eating dinner at the dinner table, you're in your crate, that's your spot. And after you do that for a while, let them out and see if they have kind of adjusted their behavior in that way. Um, that's, that's a really tough one because once that behavior is established, I feel like they always kind of think that that is okay. So I would start there with the, with kind of creating that boundary and putting them in the crate first and kind of see how that goes, if that helps any. Do you want me to take his off? Yeah, I meant to take him off before we started and I just forgot. Um, what kind of beds are those? I think they mean the ones down there. Oh, yes. Those should be in the store. Yeah, those are definitely in the Amazon store. Mm -hmm. Those are called Coolaroo cots. 
Um, they are amazing. They're elevated off of the floor, which is really nice. So it lets the air come up underneath and it keeps them really cool. We've had a lot of subscribers who get those and then they'll send us a picture of their pup on it or under it. Um, yes, those things are fantastic. They've held up super, super well. Um, we, I don't think we could go without those. Yeah. Like well, that's like a staple in this house. And they're easy like to it, wash. Like in the summertime, you can just hose them down. In the wintertime, you yeah. can take them apart and wash yeah. them. Yep. Um, the pups yeah. love them. We don't use them upstairs because mm -mm. if you have hardwood, they would definitely tear up your floor. Yeah, The probably. legs would, um, unless you put some sort of caps on them or something. If you had carpet, you could. Yeah. They don't, like if you put that bed next to their regular bed, they will choose their regular bed. It's much more comfortable unless they're hot though. Yeah. So they work great for down here and outside and stuff. Uh, Lana asks, noticed in one of your videos this week that you had security camera to spy on the pups. What do you use? Those are uh, that's in there too. Those are definitely in the Amazon store. Click that link. If you can't find the link, throw it back in the chat and it's under pup cameras. One of us will post it in there for you. But if you go into our Amazon store, it's under pup cameras. Um, those things are amazing and not that expensive at all. Yeah, which I just is put awesome. It in the chat too. Um, James says, have you guys heard of We Feed Raw? It's a website. I've seen some other YouTubers use it. Maybe something to look into. I, I have actually looked into a couple of services um, that I found through just like researching over the past few weeks. The issue that I've run into with those is like I love everything about it. Like it literally just shows up at your door. Like you put it in the bowl. Not a big deal. It's fresh. Like absolutely love those services um with two of them it was an insane amount more expensive yeah. than like we could afford right now like and i feel like <sighs> wow i feel like we spend a lot now like this would 710 dollars a month yeah this would probably bump that up over a thousand or more so well, and to be honest with everything going on right now we kind of put a pause on their food because yeah. there's just a lot of craziness going on you know it's not like we can safely just go out and start browsing for new food and my leg there. go to butcher Thank shops you. or anything like that so yeah. we're kind of just waiting not, it out yeah. right now plus i don't think will has shown it yet but like i made a little video i haven't it'll be this week of how crazy he thought you know when all this started like ordered i was so proud to hear that you decided the vlog without me telling you and then she yeah you guys will see the video this week <laughs> i'll save it for you guys i'm not I've, i'll stop there i'll keep the suspense going but yeah it's a good one that was funny it's funny speaking of food though enzo self-regulated for the first time yeah and since before we got lotus yeah so this morning which i think is mostly just us finally giving him enough food yeah, so we have upped his food intake. The good thing about the food that we have, and one of the things that I love about Gentle Giants, it's obviously made for large breed dogs. Um, the There are like not very many carbs in there at all, so like it helps maintain their weight, which I love. So we did up Enzo's food intake just because over the weeks we have realized like he's hungry and we're not feeling We also realized our measuring cups kind of yeah. Screwy. <laughs> yeah. So um, we did up it. And when you do that, it's kind of a slow process for them to get back to self-regulating. Um, and so this morning, Will gave him two and a half cups for breakfast. Yeah. And he stopped less than two for sure. Stopped on his own without eating the whole thing, which is that's exactly where you want them to be. Like you want them to be in that self-regulating mode. Lotus has always been like that. He's Enzo was always like that too. Yes. But in the confusion of load, getting Lotus and everything, we ended up giving Enzo not enough food. Yeah. It wasn't intentional. Um, some of it was. I mean, we, to a degree it was, but not as much as it really ended up being, I think. Yeah. Um, and I think we, we thought a lot of it was him just worried. Because basically Lotus stole a bite of his food one day when he dropped it on the ground. And it seemed like a light bulb went off in his head. Like, he I need like, to eat I quicker. I have to eat all of it all and, the time. And I think it may have been like that for a little bit, but he grew out of that, but mm -hmm. we didn't. Yeah. Yeah. So. So, yeah, he self-regulated this morning. So, like, it was such a big deal that Will came into the bedroom and, like, I had a pillow over my head because it's loud around here in the morning. 
and he lifted the pillow up and he's like hey just to let you know like Enzo self-regulated and I'm like great seven o'clock in the morning like you're waking me up to let me know that like you couldn't have waited until I got right. out of bed to tell me that but like it is really such a big deal for him to be back to that point so it is very exciting um that he's yeah. doing that again so yeah that's plus that awesome. means that he's not sitting around the house stressing over food yeah so that tells us big... that like he's not hungry like we have met the the threshold of this is where he needs to be yeah. and we'll keep him there unless he tells us otherwise yeah um uh, let's see i feel like i got behind now because that was kind of lengthy um how long did it take to potty train enzo and lotus so Thank you, Chase, for subscribing. Not. Not long at all. And this is the thing that, like, this is probably one of the most common questions that we get. And um, people don't realize, like, you just really need to, like, set an alarm, stick to a schedule. With video. And, yeah, if you do that, like, you'll have a potty train. Like, even if you bring the pup home at eight weeks and you follow kind of the process that we tell you to follow, you'll have a potty trained pup within a, a couple of weeks. Like, it goes super fast. People, though, sometimes have a hard time, like, following that schedule, keeping up with that schedule, being consistent is a lot of a lot of the problem. Um, and so when they don't do that, it, it prolongs the potty training phase. Mm. So not very long for either of ours, really. No. I mean, Enzo's last accident, I can remember it because it was several months. It had nothing to do with potty training. It was when he got sick. Yeah. Um, and he wasn't even a year old when that happened, and he had been potty trained for months. So. Yeah. I mean, probably within the first well, month or yeah. so, honestly. Yeah. And Lotus was not as same about situation. The same, yeah. you know, within yeah. a month or less than two for sure. Yeah. And we were very just diligent about the process. Like we found a process that worked and we just always made sure that we followed it. Of course, we have a lifestyle that kind of allows for that a little bit more. But like you would come home and I would basically function a gate around this couch yeah. that went around this couch so Lotus couldn't go any farther because as long as I kept him contained, he yeah. wouldn't have accidents. Yeah. If I gave him five feet behind the couch though, he would he would have an yeah. accident. Now, even with us <laughs> being as diligent as we were, both of them still had multiple accidents, like not yeah. excessive or anything, but like it's gonna happen. Like you just, you gotta have the, the, the right expectation in that situation. But yeah, not very long at all, I don't feel like. No. Um, seems like a long time but it does seem the puppy stage seems like it goes on forever yeah um my gsd is five months old and weighs 50 pounds is this normal Good. yeah so i would say you might just this is from sailor high performance hopefully they're still in here um yes i would say that that's perfectly fine um, Lotus is almost two years old and he weighs about 75 pounds. Mm -hmm. Um, so they don't really stop growing until a year ish, maybe like a year, three months, year and a half. Um, so if they're only five months, they still have a lot of growing to do. Um, so I would say 50 pounds for five months, perfectly normal. Um, I feel like Enzo... That seems like pretty on pace with Enzo, I feel like. Enzo was 50 or 60 pounds, I feel like, in that four to five months range, and he's a very large dog. Um, so, yeah, I would not be concerned with that by any means. Um, Agnes Lopez, did you change the diet? Nope. So, I mean, a little bit, but then we went back to our normal diet for them. Um Paula says, what do you do this time of year when they start shedding and shepherd glitter, a.k.a. hair, is unmanageable? Um, a couple of things. So if you watched, I feel like this week, the the, oh, yeah. the grooming-ish video yeah. went up. Um, if you don't have a Furminator brush, which really isn't a brush, I've been informed by another subscriber um, that it's a, it's a, it's a de-shedding tool. So I want to make sure that I'm correct in how I say that so people don't get mad at me um if you get the I, call it brush, I know I do too usually if you get the the Furminator de-shedding tool and you use that for 10 ish maybe 15 minutes a day or every other day you're gonna cut down on more than you ever think you could um so that is a huge help um in addition to that we just vacuum a lot. Yeah, we mostly just vacuum a lot. <sighs> yeah, vacuum. 
Roomba. Is Roomba in the Amazon store? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but no, in, in all seriousness, get the, get the Fermentator de-shedding tool and use it for 10, 15 minutes every day, every other day. It'll You'll be amazed at how much of a difference that makes for you. Uh, let's see. Jojo says, another question. How did you learn them to be alone? when you had to go to work honestly we just did a video on that like this week too yeah it was either this week or then the last week so yeah it was just a slow process really it was the other thing is is will for the most part is always like during the day been home with them um in the beginning when he was still had to go physically to work every day um my brother would come up and spend time with the pups and so they really weren't like at home ever a whole lot by themselves um but it is a very slow process when you like because will and i obviously leave and we leave them here out of their crates um it, it's a slow process and i don't recommend leaving out of the crate when you're gone much before like a year and a half to two years i think enzo was around two when we started that with him um lotus was a little bit younger but lotus does not have anxiety about us leaving and so i think we yeah Lotus could have knew. been left out alone much sooner, sooner than, than we let him. Enzo. Enzo has major he has separation anxiety. Major so. separation anxiety when we leave. He just like has a fit about it. Um, so we waited a little bit longer with him, and he's fine now. Um, but yeah, it's a very slow process. Um, how early did you start training Enzo and Lotus? Enzo, we started training around eleven months. He was 11 months a year um, just because, honestly, like, he was such a good dog that it really wasn't, like, a rush to get into training for him. I felt like he was already just, like, naturally obedient. Um, but we knew that we wanted to do, like, professional just, training. Yeah, and we just didn't know yet what we wanted to do. Yeah, so we waited until – thank you for subscribing. Um, we waited till almost a year with him. And then with Lotus, because of his reactivity, we actually started his at five and a half months, um, which is super early to start uh, e-collar training. So that's the youngest, that absolute youngest that they will do it. Usually they they recommend like six months and older if they can. Um, but yeah, but because of his reactivity, we did start much earlier with him. I can't see who subscribed or did something, just so you know. Thank you for subscribing. Cunningham. Will has turned down the um, you can see it on this one. The brightness a little bit on the screen so the computer doesn't die. Um, I am going to start to wrap up here, so I'll get through these few that we have just because we're going to try to keep it to an hour today. Well, that is unless Lotus has things to say. I wonder if they could hear that. I don't know. That was ridiculous. I mean, we could leave and just leave Lotus in charge. and. Yeah, we can just leave you guys here with Enzo and Lotus. <laughs> Um, That's what we're gonna do when we leave the house and we leave them out. We'll just put make it go put live. Put a live, and just everyone could the subscribers could just watch them. Yeah, that would be funny. Um, does having Enzo help Lotus with anxiety at times? Thinking about getting a second dog, my GSD is a lot like Lotus. It doesn't hurt. I don't know how much it helps at times, but it definitely doesn't hurt. So. I'm, I'm probably going to disagree a little bit on that. I think it helps an insane amount because I'll tell you what happens when you take Enzo away from Lotus. Well, yeah, but I just mean if he never had Enzo is what I mean. Oh, yeah. I don't know how much I, it would. I think it helps. I really do. I think that it does help for sure. Um, I mean, there's really no way to know. Yeah. But in, like, my personal opinion and just, like, what I observe and what I'm around – I absolutely think that it does help. Um, what flea stuff do you use for your dogs? We already talked about that. That's the yeah. Neem shampoo. We don't do any pills or any collars or anything like that. We take more of a proactive approach when it comes to fleas and ticks. Michael just subscribed. Thank you, Michael, for subscribing. Um, do you recommend topical ointments or oral? We, we don't do any of that. We don't do any of that just because we have heard so many horror stories about them. We take as most of a natural approach to that and proactive approach just to prevent it from happening um, as we possibly can. So we use that neem shampoo every day just to do their wipe downs. And because it repels fleas and ticks, 
we haven't really had any issues with that whole situation. So that would be what I would suggest. We do not do topical or oral. Uh, let's see. Maple says we either want two German Shepherds or German Shepherd and a Doberman Pinscher. Your thoughts? Well, obviously I'm partial to two German Shepherds, so that's what I'm going to tell you to do. Um, but you, in all seriousness, like you have to do what you think fits for your guys's, um, your guys's house. Mm -hmm. And Synthical just subscribed. Yay, thanks for subscribing. I we have got so many subscribers today. Like that's amazing. I love it. Um so you just have to do what, what fits best for for you and your family and your lifestyle. Obviously, I'm partial to two German Shepherds. Um, you know, and there's two ways that you can go about it if you're gonna get two. Either get two at the same exact time. So that they have a bond, they grow up together, they're puppies together. You just get the puppy stage out of the way, rip the band-aid off, get it all done at what time. Or get the first one and wait till the first one is about a year and a half to two years old. Oh, we got oh, super boy. chat. Um, and then bring a puppy into the mix. So that those are the two ways that I always tell people to do it. Oh, so KJ, KJ wow. wow, KJ, thank you. You did not have to do that. Um, Oh, you had viewers guilt after seeing how much they cost. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. That is a lot, though. <laughs> yeah. So. That's a lot for Super Chat. Yeah, that is. Thank you, KJ. You did not have to do that. Um, I feel like I wish I wouldn't have known. Yeah. Sometimes like, ignorance, it, is, ignorance bliss. is bliss in that situation. Like when he was telling me, like, oh, you know, I'm like, I think I would rather not know how much we spend on a monthly basis for yeah. them. Like, I really did not want to know. But of course, he made me watch the video. So Ironically, then, if we I didn't know. have them, we could afford a bigger house, but then we wouldn't have them. But then we wouldn't have <laughs> them. I'd rather have the smaller house for sure. Um, <clears throat> let's see. <clears throat> Hunter. Hunter is a longtime subscriber and patron. What flea stuff do man? We got the flea questions today. Yeah. Hopefully, I already <clears throat> answered that, Hunter. But if not, you can message me. You totally know how to get a hold of me. Um, let's see, or maybe I just already answered that. Oh, I think that got mixed in with another yeah, one. Wife. Yeah, I think that was kind of combined with one up there. Okay. Um, Dana GSD mom, can you guys make a T-shirt with what the pup? You have actually wanted to do I that. I made one, and he, you deleted it. I deleted it. <laughs> So <laughs> she was afraid it was too racy. <laughs> I don't want, so like, it's a fun phrase. And I feel like so many of our viewers have been saying like, oh, that's totally catching on in our house. And like, I love it. And they're like using it in the comments and stuff. Um, but like when we first started using that phrase, I didn't want people to like think in their head, like fill in pup with like whatever your favorite cuss word might be. So like I didn't like, I didn't want it to be like racy in that sense, like that we were like really thinking that we were Six saying- as a teacher basically. Saying something else when really, it just genuinely is like a cute phrase that we use around the house. Like I didn't want it to be viewed as like something like that. So yes, I will make one that says what the pup. It has caught on. People love it. The viewers are using it. I love it. We, I mean, how many times a day do we probably use that phrase in this house? So yes, I will work on getting a t-shirt that says what the pup. <laughs> um, let's see. Michael Coburn says, how did you do two cameras and one live stream? Please explain. Yes, give him a question. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. Uh, that is done via Streamlabs, uh, OBS, or if you or you can just use regular OBS. Um, if you're using Mac, Streamlabs is in beta right now, so you just have to apply for the beta program. It's free, um, and they probably will approve you. Um, but yeah, it's just using OBS software, open broadcast system software. Um, that just allows me to control everything. I could have more cameras, honestly, um, but I limit it to two because that just seems like enough. Plus, we only have two. We only have two cameras. Minus the like FaceTime camera and the computer, which I don't want to use. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's how that's done. Oh boy, we got the Apple question again. I know, I put that in there just for Yeah, you. so. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a sticker. She put it on upside down. Yeah. Not on purpose. Like, that's the way that I think it should be. And Steve Jobs also wanted it like that in real life. So that's all I'm going to say about it. 
last time I went into like a very huge explanation, but that's all I'll say. Um, Bali Atric or Atric says, has anybody told Will he sounds like Eminem? Not that I know of. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's funny. I was just listening to him this morning too. I haven't listened to him in a while. Yeah. I'm not making the connection, but like, I can't really like picture both of them at the same time. Would we get another subscriber? I think so. It okay. takes a second to pop um, up. Michael says, just subscribe. Assume that is a GoPro. Um, um, oh, yeah. Cotton Candy Lover. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, no, they're not GoPros. They're Sony Alpha 6300 and 6500 cameras. 4K. Definitely not GoPros. Yeah. Those would be much cheaper. Yeah. 100%. And then the main camera is running off a Sigma Prime lens, 1.6 millimeter, and the pup camera is running off a Sony G lens. Thank you, Jacob, for subscribing. I can't remember what that one is. 20 to 70 millimeter, I think. You guys, I know nothing about the equipment. So. I'm like, I have a camera. That's really all I can say about it. Yeah. I know it's Sony. She bought me the camera for Christmas. She didn't buy me a lens. <laughs> That was really not that funny, and I don't appreciate you sharing that with the whole world. Um, yeah, so he wanted a camera, obviously. Yeah. Obviously, I was like, heck yeah, totally going to get that because I knew it was, like, a really good present, and he had, like, just, like, in a passing conversation, shown me, like, something that he thought was, like, really awesome, and I'm like, I had to like memorize like the numbers and letters and everything that went along with getting it. And then I collaborated with our neighbor um, who is like very tech savvy and knows everything that there is to know about cameras and like explain like this is what he wants. And so like he made sure that I had everything right. And um, you know, I'm buying, purchasing the right camera and was not cheap at all. Um, Purchase the camera, it shows up, I wrap it, I'm like, all right, Christmas Day, like, this is going to be the only present you get, because it's the only one I could really afford, um, and opens it up, and he's like, oh, this is awesome, and I didn't know that it doesn't come with a lens, because I was thinking, like, oh, he's totally going to be able to use this today, like, we can get, like, videos and pictures of everyone opening presents on Christmas Day, and he couldn't use it until we went out and bought a lens. So that was embarrassing. And I was like, wow, I had no idea. So then I felt terrible. Did I feel like we went out fairly quickly and bought you one. Yeah. But it doesn't look that great on the live streams just because it gets so degraded um, yeah. with the internet and everything. So, but it's the same camera I vlog with. Yeah. And then Destiny gave us a super sticker. Thank you, Destiny. All right, I think we're going to wrap up for today. If you guys don't care, just because I have some stuff that I need to take care of and do. Um, but, yeah, we'll be back next Saturday, obviously. Mm -hmm. Probably same time. I, yeah. I like this time. Uh, again, we are going to have to switch the schedule at some point. But we'll keep you guys updated on that. Yeah. Um, anything else you can think of? No. Lotus is just going to... Thanks for everyone that subscribed and gave super chats and super stickers today. You guys are amazing. You guys don't have to do that at all by any means. We just love being here and spending time with you guys. Um, you guys are go above and beyond all the time. So we love you guys and um, keep the comments coming. Like I said, they keep me sane. They get me through the, the days. Um, so keep those comments coming in on the videos. They're so uplifting and positive. Um, you guys are amazing. But yeah, and you boys are probably gonna pack up and go somewhere, right? Yeah, probably. I feel like they uh, actually stayed very Well, calm. they washed the car with me this morning, so. Yeah, yeah, they did good. Lotus is in a little meltdown mode, but. <laughs> I don't know why. He loves to cuddle. Yeah. He like, if, if you didn't see his reactivity like in real life, like if you didn't see it in the videos and like you just lived with him, like by far the sweetest dog that I've ever met. Like he is so cuddly and loving and like, he's just like perfectly content just yeah. being next to someone. Like that's all he wants is let me just cuddle up next to you. If we didn't go anywhere today, he would be completely fine. Enzo. Yeah, Enzo is not, like Enzo 
can be a cuddle bug, but a lot of the time he chooses not to be. And like, he's perfectly fine with like, I'm on the edge of the couch. I don't need to be next to anyone. I don't need anyone's attention. Where like this one, he requires that connection with someone. So he is like seriously the sweetest pup ever. So like when you see his reactivity, I'm like, wow, we have like a split personality dog. Yeah. He can seem so mean. And he's just doing it out of And it's it literally fear. because he is just afraid for his life. And that's so well, hard. No, it's not afraid for his life. He's afraid, afraid for our life. Yeah. yeah. And that's so hard to explain to people yeah. and like for people to understand yeah. that. If a perfect stranger was able to take him for a walk, he wouldn't bark at any other dog. No. Wouldn't make a peep. It's just because Will and I are there. Yep. Come on, pup pup. You getting the good naps? I know. I know. All right, guys. We love you. Thank you for being here with us. You guys are amazing. And we'll see you. Well, you'll see. See a video Monday. Yeah, Monday. But 